Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl, Lock Looney Tunes, and I am here with my hubby. He hasn't been on line with me in a long, long time. He hasn't done a video with me. And we were talking, and we were just talking about just parenting teenagers and what we're going through right now with parenting our oldest child who is a teenager. She's 19 years old. Going on 91. <laughs> yeah. And um, we decided to come through with a video because I'm pretty sure that a lot of my subscribers have children. And I know that some of my subscribers have maybe a teenager or something like that. <laughs> you know? Or a teenager that pretty much thinks that they are an adult be simply because they're 18 years old and me and my husband was having a conversation about it and I was like well you know what this seems like a good you know topic for discussion yeah for discussion for my channel basically you know we're having a situation where we're raising a team and we've come across the fact that when teenagers get a certain age, they really think that they have reached adulthood. The level of maturity where they actually know what's going on in the world, which I find quite funny. You go out here, you make a decision, you goof it up, you respect. Oh, mom and dad's going to clean it up for me, as always. Make sure you speak up so the mic can hear you, sweetie. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, my husband has a tendency not to really speak up. He's kind of sort of soft spoken when it comes to getting on camera. So, you know, just speak up a little bit so they can hear you. The mic. Oh, but, but speak okay. up so they can okay. hear you. I just don't want to be screaming and yelling. No, just, you know, you don't have to scream and yell, but enunciate so they can hear you. I don't want people to struggle to try to hear. What you have to say because what you have to say is important. You know what I'm saying? You want them to hear what you're saying because, believe me, after the conversation we had last night, it does need to be heard by many parents and many teenagers alike because some of them just ain't hearing nobody. They just like, oh, I'm 18 and I'm an adult and I get to do what I want to do. But that's like... <laughs> Okay, you're an adult, you're 18. Like, when I was 18, it was you had responsibilities to the house, to yourself, and to your parents. Now, somewhere along the way between when I was growing up, when we was growing up, and now, morals got misplaced, responsibilities got misplaced, mm -hmm. and now it's like, oh, I'm 18, I'm grown, I can do what I want to do. The fact of the matter is, you're not grown till you get your own place. Then you can do what you want to do. But as long as you're living with somebody... Namely your parents. Yeah, namely your parents. Because <laughs> your parents are going to tolerate a lot of the bullshit that you do. They may not like it, but they will tolerate it because they have love for you. Now, this is undying love. Mm -hmm. Now, some teenagers... 17 to 19 mistake the undying love for stupidity yeah that they 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 think that, you are stupid like 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 teenagers seriously think that you, their parents are dumb and we and that teenagers. and that, that we never were teenagers and that we never did any of the things that they've done i mean <laughs> My kids come at me with certain stuff, and I look at them like, you really seriously think that I've never even used that line to my folks, my grandparents, or anybody? You never thought that I even, you never thought that as a teenager that I've never said, you're treating me like a child and I'm adult. Yeah, I've said all that. I've said all of that. There's nothing that you haven't said to me that... That I haven't heard, you know, this or oh, I haven't said to one of my parents or my grandparents 
They think we're stupid. Aunts, uncles, I mean, grandmothers, cousins that's older than you. A lot of stuff just was said. Huh. We've all been there. We've all thought, okay, once I'm 18, I'm grown, I can do what I want. But this is how my father tricked me. Okay, you 18. The rent is due on the first. Right. So was the water bill, the electric bill, the gas bill, the gas bill. Oh, the cable the, bill. <laughs> the cable bill. And most importantly, one of the most important things that you need to survive in this lifetime food. is food. You gotta buy the food. Now, I wanted to talk smart. I'm the big man on the block. Had me a little punk ass job at Pizza Hut, so thought I was doing something, working all of my hours. Thought I was doing something. But back then, you was only getting $5 an hour. Work 20 hours to make $100. <laughs> I mean, that. <laughs> yeah, it is, it's like, it's like, they really think, and then this is what my daughter comes to me across with. Like, this is what she says to me. She's like, well, mom, things are different now. And think, you right. You are absolutely right. T things are different now than they were back then. But. The, the standard, the sta yeah, the standard stays the same. The rules still apply. If you don't want to take care of yourself, and you, you know, you don't want, you can't come in my house saying, "Oh, I'm an adult, I'm an adult," but you're at the same time you're an adult that's in my house, living rent free. You eating up all my food from the rest of the household. The, the other kids that are still, quote unquote, minors. You're asking your both of your parents for money, you know, and then you're telling us what you you what you is and what you ain't gonna do. That that right there. But but you don't want to move out. You don't want to do it for yourself. You don't want to pay for your own food. You don't want to do none of that. But yet, when every time we talk to you, it's like, oh, I'm an adult, but you treat me like a child. What kind of shit is that? It's like, like this is this is the deal. When you're 18, 19 years old, yeah, you're an adult. You're considered an adult by law. By the age, you're considered an adult. But the whole thing is, being an adult is when you get to that age where you start to take care of yourself. That's on paper, though. Not not when not when you scream, I'm an adult. Can I have five dollars <laughs> so I can go hang out right. with my friends? Nah, then you go from being an adult to being a teenager to being a child all over again. Which one are you going to be? Are you going to be the adult? Are you going to be the child? Which one are you going to be? My husband, he is he is in that business of getting her out of the house. Like, he's in that business of, look, you either got to do it this way or your ass got to go. Like, that's what he is. And I've basically been fighting him on that because truth is, I don't want my kids out in the street. I don't. You know, I don't want my children to become a statistic. I don't want them to feel as though that they can't come home or they can't get any help from me. But at the same time, yeah, she needs to be doing what she's supposed to be doing and she's not. So right about now, I'm about to jump on board with my husband, which is you either do what you need to do around this house or, you know, you got to go. You get a job. What it was it? What they would do say on Friday? You got to get, you know, you either going to work. <laughs> or you either gonna go to school or you gonna work. First of the month, rent is due. That's it. You know what I'm saying? It's like you got to actually come up out your pockets and give up some of that money. But she doesn't want to do that. She wants to take all her money and spend it on whatever she wants to spend Frivolous it on. Frivolous bullshit that she really don't need. Yeah. <laughs> Just the deal. We go out to dinner. So then it costs the family like seven, eighty dollars. You know, you know, we out, we having a good time. You know, the whole family together, we having a good time. Go out to eat, cool. Then the following week, it's like, oh, um, I'm about to start my summer job soon. So I'm like, yeah, that's good. You should really start a summer job, so that's good. But in starting a summer job, what are you gonna do for the household? Now this is a household where. You eat, you sleep, you shit. In order to have a good shit, you need toilet paper. <coughs> now, you get your little check. You don't even buy a roll of toilet paper. Not even a roll. Something that, uh, you bought a roll of toilet paper. 
We appreciate that. Nothing for the house is all about. I'm going to do this for me. Me, 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 me. Okay? You are everything for you. But when it's time for you, like, get back and forth to work, it's about mom, dad, you got $5, you got $10 I can put on my small drink card. Oh! What happened to you being an adult? Now, side note, the small trip card is basically what we use for transportation here in Washington, D.C. And you have to put money on it to catch the bus, to catch the train, to pretty much go anywhere, anywhere in the city, wherever. You know what I'm saying? Or you will be walking. Or you'll be walking. And she needs transportation to get back and forth. In other words, she has to learn how to take care of herself the same way other adults take care of their selves the way me and my husband take care of ourselves when we go back and forth the only ones that we're actually required by law to provide for is my three other children my nine year old my 13 year old and my 14 year old i mean still that's our blood that's you know we love her but i mean damn we don't like it when kids you know Teenagers take advantage of their parents. That shit is, it just pisses me off. I don't like it when anybody's kids, any teenagers take advantage of their parents. You know, my thing is like, okay, well, I ain't got time for this shit. I done dealt with it as long as I can deal with it. And I've been sticking up for you and been going to bat for you for a long ass time. Now it's time. I'm getting ready to get on the bandwagon with your father and about to say, look, you need to get your shit and get the fuck out of my house. That's how I feel. Now, I mean, it gets to that point where you actually got to tell these kids, look, you have to fucking go. You got to get the hell out because I can't afford to take care of another grown-ass person in my house. I would like to say that, but if you were bringing some shit to the table the way we would want you to bring some shit to the table, the way you need to, then maybe we would not be so harsh and we wouldn't want to... You know, we wouldn't want to be all up in your shit about this. But the fact is, you're not showing us the respect that we try to give you. You know, we we gave you, we raised you, we took care of you, we did everything we need to do for you, and now you're an adult. Oh, mind you, I had my daughter, she graduated from high school. And I had got her signed up to college. You guys already know I attend college. And at one time, my very, my, I think what, my second or third semester? My third third semester. My third Third, semester, my daughter, right. My third, no, my third semester. Last semester was my third semester. And my daughter, it was supposed to be my daughter's first First. semester? Or was that the one before? No, it was first. Her first semester? Yeah. It was my supposed to suppose well it was my daughter's first semester. And <laughs> yeah. And good grief, Charlie yeah, Bird. You it was <laughs> it was Woo All I'm yeah. saying is that she is a blockhead. It was bad. Like her first semester she pretty much failed her first semester, then after that she decided not no, to go back. No. Well actually actually I suggested that she not go back right then if those were the type of grades that she was going to be getting. If she was just going to be failing out of college, then maybe college wasn't for her right then and there. I would like for her to go, but I don't want her to go simply because we want her to go or because I want her to go or whatever. This is the thing. You're in, 11, you're in the 10th grade, you're in the 11th grade and 12th grade, and all the things you scream at us, I want to go to college. I want to be the first one in the family to go to college and graduate and do something with my life. Okay, Grant. Who? Her? Now, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this. I'm not the smartest man on the planet, but I do know when you go to school and you get an education, what you put into getting that education is what you're going to get out of getting that education. Now, with that being said, if they, you put in F's, <laughs> they give you books. No, if they if you put in F's, you need books for these classes. Fuck all that. If you put <laughs> in F work, you're gonna get F grades back because she put in some F work, some fucking work, some bullshit work. 
She didn't really do what she was supposed to do. And what she got out of it was a bunch of damn Fs. Now, now, my thing is this. It's like, I don't think she really wanted to be there from the beginning. And that's why I told her, don't sign up for no more classes. Just leave it as is. But she still hasn't found her way. And we tried to explain to her, girlfriend, if you do not get some type of education, some type of trade, something, you need something to fall back on. And you're young. You have time. You need to do this. I don't, you know, like pushing things on my kids. I want my kids to learn how to do things on their own and for themselves. But I also want them to learn from our mistakes. We we do so hard to try to teach our kids and try to guide them in the right direction. The thing is, is that you can only guide a child but so far. And now my child is over the age of 18. She's 19 years old. And a bum. And a bum. B-U-M. I was talking to my husband. And I was like, I do not feel guilty. Like, I, it's, so many, it's so many parents around here that say, well, you know what? Um... I feel so guilty. What did I do bad? Or where did I go wrong? I didn't go anywhere wrong. Because I raised her to the point where she graduated from high school. And she got to that point, And she started college. And then she started making decisions for herself. And the thing about it is, is that once your child gets to that age, you can no longer walk with them. Hand in hand. Yeah, hand in hand. You can't walk with them. about. You can't hold their hand. You know, through life, you can't do that because you have your own life to lead. They're now, they have to learn how to fly out of their nest. They have to learn how to fly on their own. So sometimes they, your kids are going to have to learn the hard way. Sometimes they're going to have to run into some, you know, obstacles that's going to really teach them later in life. I'm just saying, right, I'm fed that. up right now. I'm at the point where I'm just like, oh, fuck this. I'm I'm just at that point right now, you know. And my husband's at that point right now. I, honestly, I've been at that point. Well, yeah, he. I was at that point a year ago. Yeah, he was at that point, and I just kept telling him, "Well, you know, maybe she'll change. Maybe she'll, you know, things will work out. Things get better." But they haven't get they haven't gotten as better as we would like it to be. Um, is oh, my thing is don't. Have us ripping and running for you to get you into college, and you really don't want to be there. Mm, yeah. You don't want to be there, man. Just say, man, look, college is really not in my plans right now. I know I said that, but it's really not in my plans. So we understand. Then you have to find trade school, some type of employment, something. Now, I'm like, once again, I'm not the smartest man in the world, but if you getting up at 2 o'clock in the afternoon to go talk to somebody about a job, you don't get the door slammed in your face. I don't want to talk to you. Three hours, I go home. I do not want to talk about no job. Should have been here earlier this morning. But you can't always expect, and this is like this message right here, you know, is to all the teenagers out there that really ain't doing crap with their lives right now. This is a message to you. Do not always expect for your parents to be your safety net. Do not always expect for your parents to be there with open arms talking about, come on, baby, come on, come on home. And no, don't always expect that. You never know. What would you What would you do if, you know, you didn't have that safety net? Your parents died. Right. What if you no what longer you had your you? parents? What would mm -hmm. you do? And you were an adult. You were like 18 or 19 years old and you actually had to do for yourself. You know, what would you do? It's crazy because you got so, like, we live in Washington, D.C., so when I'm out and about and going to work or whatever, we always see teenagers acting inappropriate, saying inappropriate things. thing is, you still young men and women, and you still have to figure out what it is that you want to do. But see, the thing is, you can't figure out what you want to do until you actually sit down with yourself and figure out where you're trying to be in the next five, ten years. A lot of them don't know where they want to be. My daughter doesn't know where she wants to be. 
She's stuck in the twilight. She's in the fantasy. She's on Fantasy Island right now. But she has to learn how to talk to people. She's very quiet. She's very timid. Unless unless she's talking with her friends. Talk to her friends, but and her boyfriend, God. Woo, hey, man. Let me put it to you like this. She's smart, but she doesn't show her intelligence. Now that I really don't understand, because I have two kids like that. Smart, shop is tax, but hate to let people know that they smart. Really. <laughs> What good is that? I don't know. I really don't, I don't know. know. I mean, it's always like, like oh, you smart. You let people know that you smart. So they respect you for being smart. Not, oh, I'm smart, but I'm not going to let people know I'm smart because I'm, uh, I want the respect of the dummies. It's the reason why they're in a the category called dummies. The situation right now that I'm just, like, not feeling. What are you dealing with? We're yes. dealing with it, and As we're dealing team. with te- you know teenagers. This is what it, this is what the reality is of my household. I have a teenager that I am trying to that I have raised, and I don't even say still trying to raise. I have raised a teenager, and she is now on paper an adult. She is over the age of eighteen. She is actually nineteen. Next year she will be twenty, and and then I would be like, okay. But right now we are at wit's end. Um, we are trying to work on this and trying to handle raising teenagers because I have a 13 year old, I have a 14 year old, and I have a 19 year old. I've never raised teenagers before. This is the first time that I've raised teenagers. So, you know, it's a first time for everything. But I will not be disrespected in my house. I will not tolerate the bullshit. I just won't tolerate it. So, it's a work in progress. It's a work in progress. It's, you know, getting her out of my house. That's the first thing. Getting her out of my house because she cannot no longer stay here and disrespect the home. So, the next plan is for her to go where? Job Corps? Job Corps is the next step for her. She made this decision on her own. And I hope that it will work in her favor. I hope that it will put her on the right path. I hope that it... I I just hope that it will do, you know, positive things for her. It will, because, you know, I've been a job for a job for holds you accountable for everything. You are held accountable for everything. Miss your class, you held accountable. It's not mom and dad didn't wake me up. I we won't be not. there to save her. See, that's go, That's the thing. And she's talking about doing this um, out of state. Like, she's talking about going out of state and going to job course. So, that will be... We won't be there. That, that Her safety net will no longer be there. So, I mean, we'll always be here. But, not to, not at, you know... Sometimes, Not at an arm's reach for her to say, I need some money. Sometimes <laughs> when the phone is ringing, you need some tough love to get somebody to answer it. And right now, her going to job out of state is all the tough love she needs. Because it won't be nobody, that, it won't be no safety net there. So you have to live with the decision that you make and deal with it on your own. That's yeah. the bottom line. Well, yeah, so. Just wanted to come through on this video. We're already 24 minutes into this video. Um, Get us up. If you guys want us to do more videos like this, and or or would you prefer us to do a live show? If you want us to do a live show, just let us know in the comments below if you would like us to do live shows talking about general stuff that's going on with the fam as far as parenting, um, marriage, relationships, stuff that we go through on a daily basis, my weight loss, anything. Just let me know if you want us to do more live, you know, more videos like this or live shows because I do, I have done a couple of live shows and they've been very successful. But if you guys want us to do a live show, just let us know and then we'll come through and we will chat with you guys that way and, you know, we will have more time to have a, a bigger dialogue or you know better discussion going on all right guys so we're gonna holler at you guys in the next video and until then we will see you guys all right
Peace. Deuces. Deuces.